general principles in metallurgy general principles in metallurgy so we have to know carbon sulfur inert gases are available in nature in their free form but most of the elements available in the nature as they are com combined with another element form so it is most important to extract or isolate our desired metal or desired element from their natural resources here from the general principles of metallurgy okay general principles of metallurgy so we are going to learn the methods used by us to extract or to isolate our desired element from natural resources so let us learn the process of process of extraction or isolation of metal from their natural sources from their natural sources is called as is called as metallurgy the concept of isolation or extraction of pure metal from their natural sources is called as metallurgy generally these metals may available in the earth crust by combining with other elements those natural chemical resources or natural sources are called as minerals these minerals are available or obtainable by mining here minerals are available from mining and next those minerals in which the desired element or metal quantity is more and those minerals which are commercially and chemically feasible and viable used to separate metals are called as ores so the difference between minerals and ores is very less what are minerals the metals are available in combined form naturally such combination or combined form of metals are called as minerals these are obtaining through mining whereas commercially and chemically some of the minerals only useful to isolate our desired metal such minerals are called as ores here from ores we can isolate our metal here isolation or extraction of metal from its natural resources takes place in three steps that is isolation of metal from ores completes in three major steps first one before going to explain how the isolation takes place remember in ores or minerals our desired metal may contaminated with impurities what are impurities so it may be other element or the particles present in the earth crust remained with our ore as impurities so such impurities which may be present with ores are called as gangue what they are called as gangue so we have to eliminate that that gangue from ores 
So let us consider the isolation of metal from the ore observed in three steps. The first one is concentration of concentration of ore. And second one isolation of isolation of metal from ores by using chemical or electrochemical processes by using chemical or electrochemical processes we can separate our desired metal metal from its ore and the finally the isolated metal purified purification of metal this is the last step in every metal isolation generally we have to follow these three te steps so once again the available ores from mining will have some impurities so such impurities are eliminated out from our ores such process is called as concentration of ore so the concentration ore concentration will be observed in different physical and chemical are uh, identified with different physical and chemical process in the second step the concentrate isolation of metal from concentrated ore that means after the elimination of impurities from the ore that is called as concentrated ore so from this concentrated ore we are how to isolate or we how to extract our desired metal by using various types of chemical processes or electrochemical process similarly the last method the isolated metal if you have any impurities so such impurities are eliminated that is called as purification process of metal so this is these are the three important steps included in metallurgy whereas occurrence what is this from where these metal ores or minerals are available remember the most amount of metal ores and metal minerals are available in earth's crust they are available in earth crust here the most important element available in the earth crust is aluminium here third most important element which is available in the earth crust is aluminium nearly 8.3 percentage by weight of earth consists of aluminium so this aluminium available in the form of al2o3 alumina or al2o3 dot 2h2o that is bauxite etc means aluminium is available either their mineral or ore forms from these minerals we have to isolate or we have to extract our aluminium similarly one more most important metal available in the earth crust is iron it is the most important metal found to present in living organisms and in the form of hemoglobin for the various metabolic processes similarly this iron is also available from earth crust in various types of ore or mineral form next one let us take some examples for example aluminium is available in bauxite form in earth crust one of the most important mineral or ore available in the earth crust for aluminium is bauxite the molecular formula is al2o3 dot 2h2o it is the molecular formula of bauxite similarly sometimes the aluminium is also available in clay form clay or kaolinite which will be represented as al2o3 dot 2SiO2 dot 2H2O. It is a clay. Similarly, iron available 
in their mineral or ore form in the earth crust as hematite which is having the general molecular formula Fe2O3. This is the molecular formula of hematite. What is hematite? Hematite is a mineral of iron. Similarly, magnetite. Magnetite. Having the molecular formula Fe3O4. Similarly, iron pyrites. Iron pyrites will be represented as FeS2. So, these are some examples for minerals or ores from where we can isolate or extract iron metal. Similarly, let us have in case of copper, Cu. In case of copper are the available minerals for copper in earth crust are copper pyrites. Copper pyrites, we can represent it as CuFeS2. Copper pyrites. Similarly, the copper is also available in cuprite. We can write it as CuO, cupric oxide. And finally, let us call zinc. The minerals of zinc which available in earth crust are zinc blend. Zinc blend, we can represent it as Zn S. Similarly, calamine. What is calamine here is zinc carbonate is considered as calamine. Similarly, zincite. Zincite, we can write the molecular formula of zincite as Zn O. So, these are some examples. These two are the minerals for aluminium. If I, I want to isolate aluminium from these minerals. In such case, these minerals are called as ores. Why? Because all, type of, all types of minerals are commercially and chemically not useful to isolate desired metals. Those minerals which are used commercially and chemically are called as ores. Come to this. These are the examples for ores and minerals of iron. These are for copper and these are for zinc. So this is some ores available for some metal atoms.